The interesting thing is that you know the cost of delivering video on the web has uh, decreased you know marketedly uh, over the last two years, and that's one of the reasons that you're seeing the explosion in use of generated content. It's because that the, now the the startups and the companies that are offering that content can do do it at a, at a much lower cost. Uh, but the challenge that you have there is that consumers also want better quality. Um, all, all the broadcast partners that we talk to are trying to figure out how and when they can deliver high definition content over the web, for example. Uh, obviously, when, once you get to that level, you're talking about a lot more data being pushed through the internet, um, and, and that's going to cost more money. So <clears throat> from that perspective, uh, one of the things that we're working on with Windows Server Codename Longhorn is ensuring that uh, A, it's more scalable, uh, and B, uh, a lower cost solution uh, for delivering just the content that people are actually viewing. And there's a key distinction there. If, if you go to a popular user-generated website today, uh, you'll find that um, you'll have that little progress meter at the bottom that shows how much the content is downloading. Well, imagine the average 16-year-old. You've got six or seven different windows all going at the same time. The average consumer downloads a clip of about four minutes in length, but only watches the first 20 seconds. But the content provider has to pay for all of that bandwidth. Now imagine if that was high definition. That's where Windows Server can come in, is, is really to offset those costs by using a, a true st streaming solution. There's basically three ways to do it right now. Uh, the first one is to go ahead and, and build up your own streaming infrastructure. So th the way that works is you go ahead and drop a server in that's running you know, Windows Server, for example, uh, or even a web server uh, just within, uh, within your, your IT department. And then you can start to deliver the content out. But the, the content delivery networks have actually done a lot of work just in terms of moving their servers out uh, across the, in, geographically or across the internet. Internet, um, so that that can deliver a much higher quality of service. This is one of the reasons that so reduces the amount of buffering, for example, that, uh, that people see. And that's one of the reasons uh, that most major content providers use content delivery networks. Um, now, there's also this middle area where startups, you know, bloggers, uh, vloggers, uh, are, are looking for a solution where, where they don't necessarily meet the minimum bar for a CDN, but they're not going to set up their own web server. And that's where a new uh, service offering from Microsoft comes in, which is called uh, Silverlight Streaming. Uh, it's a Windows Live service. We're going to offer four gigabytes of free storage uh, for video clips of up to 10 minutes in length. Uh, Microsoft will, will foot the bill, so if you get uh, if you get slash dotted or digged, uh, you'll, you'll you'll be able to uh, uh, use Microsoft's network to go ahead and, and uh, you know, deliver that video content. When will that uh, go live? So it's in, in alpha right now. Uh, so customers can go to uh, streaming.live.com uh, and immediately sign up uh, just using their uh, you know their, their live ID uh, and take advantage of that service and. Uh, the other nice thing about this is that um, we've seen a lot of ISV uh, interest or, or um, independent publisher support. So Roxio, for example, uh, has just launched, as of today, uh, the Roxio Buzz application uh, with publishing directly into Silverlight Streaming. All I have to do is go ahead and drag and drop a video directly into, uh, uh, in, into Roxio Buzz. Uh, here I can go ahead and, and uh, play back that video and uh, move in, into an edit mode. All I have to do is hit share, choose Microsoft Silverlight. And now if you look down here in the lower right, uh, right hand corner, you'll notice that it's now uploading that directly into Silverlight Streaming. So it's now being posted in, uh, into that four gigabytes of space, that uh, free storage that I have up on, uh, on uh, uh, Windows Live. So as a, you know, I'm a, an avid blogger, uh, you know, a number of, of friends and family uh, like, like to see video clips that I post online. I can now use that tool to very quickly edit it and publish it directly in, into Silverlight. And then I don't have to pay for, uh, you know, for hosting that content. So that's, uh, that's a pretty nice uh, value proposition there.